Okay, so no luck with crabbing. Well, uh, all the crabs we caught were too small, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing clamming here. Uh, we'll start with uh, Manila clam, and we're gonna try horse neck uh, after the Manila clams. So yeah, let's start. <laughs> Look what I found. A new species of crab. What kind of, what kind of crab is this? It's green. Not a striped short crab for sure. Something else. This one's a good size. Look at that. This is a good one. Nice, this is for sure. Good one. Yeah, measure it. Bury the hole. Oh, tiring. Too small. Actually, you gotta bury this back. Kind of helps. We got a good dozen here. Move it in the container. I always bury the whole metal. Here's our clams here. The dish that I'm gonna cook today is uh, chipino. So I'll be using all the clams here, plus the striped bass fish that was caught um, in July. I have them in, I have it in the freezer for about four months now. Um, so I better try to eat it and not let it uh, go spoil. Low tide was at like 420 and I guess I was really into the digging of clams and did not do a lot of filming. I'll try to get a bit more footage next time from the digging, but we're like really fighting against the sunlight um, yesterday when, when digging. So yeah, um, cooking wise, there should be plenty of footage. So let's get that, let's get that rolling. These are the um, Washington clams. Take a sh sharp thin knife and cut against the side of it. come off don't eat this cut it against the side do that on both sides there's two abductor muscles in the back of the clam this is their front side where the nose is or the neck and the back is here cut it against the shell voila Ooh, look at this wow it's like a scallop here. This is all slime and dirt and sand mixed together. So really want to clean that off. This little piece of muscle here. The rest you can just cut off. Trash. Because these manila clams or steamer clams did not open and spit the grits out last night, due to the lack of salt water. I'm gonna blanch these real quick and get them opened up and clean them that way. We wanna save the soup here for the chipino we're gonna cook later. Next, you wanna quickly blanch the neck of the Washington clams and horse neck clams. These are the Washington. The nose is so much smaller, but you always want to cut through the side. There's, there could be sand in these. Wash it off. Sit. Catch. Okay, I would just go for the horse neck and not Washington clams. And the meat ratio is just way different. Look at that. 
compared to that. This was the clam uh, broth. Oh, I let this broth sit here for a while. That way the uh, sediment could, uh, could fall into the bottom and then I can just pour out the top portion. Look at that, in the bottom of this wok, there is so much sand and grit. And watch this. Garlic, shallots, and fennel here. Tomato sauce, tomato paste, Cilantro and green onion. French toast. Mm. So good with the bread. <laughs> 